This question says the population in thousands, so make sure you read the questions P, of a town at time T years after the 1st of January 1980 is modelled by this formula. P, the population in thousands, is equal to 30, add 50, e to the power of 0 0.002 T, where T is the number of years after the 1st of January 1980. Use this model to estimate the population of the town on the 1st of January 2010. Okay, the question is how many years between uh, these two? So you're going from 1980 and you're going up to 2010. So clearly this is 30 years. Okay. Okay, so uh, we're going to state for part A that t is equal to 30, and we're just going to substitute that in. So p is going to be equal to um, 30 plus 50 e to the power of 0 0.002 uh, multiplied by t. So this thing here multiplied by t, which is equal to 30. Let's type that in the calculator here. So we're going to type in uh, 30 plus 50 e to the power, like that, of, let's put brackets in 0 0.002, close brackets, brackets 30 for T, and you get 83.09. Uh, now it doesn't, it says an estimate, and it doesn't tell us what significant figure, so let's assume it's three significant figures, as we always do in the paper if we're not told. So that's 83.1 thousands, to three significant figures, and we might even write that down. We might even just say that's 83,100 to three significant figures again, like that. Up here it says, find the year in which the population first exceeds 84,000. You wanna find the T that first makes P bigger than or equal to 84. So our P is, remember it's 30 plus 50, e to the power of 0.002t, and you want to find where that's bigger than 84. So let's solve this. Let's subtract 30 off both sides. 50e to the 0.002t is bigger than or equal to um, 84, take away 30, which is going to be 54. Now divide by 50e to the 0.002t is going to be bigger than or equal to 50 divided by 54. 50 divided by 54 is... A recurring decimal, so just write 25, uh, what does it say, sorry, 25 over 27, like that. Sorry, hold on, something's gone wrong here. No, it's not, it's 54 over 50, like that, and you get... Uh, 27 over 25, so I wrote that the wrong way, it's 27 over 25, so 27 over 25, and then I take logarithms of both sides. So if I take logarithms of both sides, I can do that, and this side I can therefore write as 0 0002 T is bigger than or equal to whatever this answer is here, so natural logarithm of 27 over 25. Don't do it until the last line. Divide both sides by the 0 0.002, so T is certainly bigger than 1 divided by 0 0.002, the natural logarithm of 27 over 25, like that. So, I can get that out, so I can go, um, or I could just type this as the natural logarithm of 27 over 25, and all of that divided by 0 0.002, and I get 38.48. So T has to be bigger than 38.48. Looking up here, it says the year in which it first exceeds. Well, it exceeds it midway through the year, which is fine. So it exceeds it in the 38th year. So the 38th year after, uh, what was it, 1980, 1980. Therefore, it would be equal, it would be 2018. 2018 would be the first year where it exceeds it. Okay, so then it says the population in thousands Q of another town is modelled by this formula. Show that the value of T when P equals Q is the solution of this. 
So we've got two formulae here. Let's write our two formulae down. Firstly, P was equal to, what was it? It was 30 plus 50 e to the power of 0 0.002 multiplied by T. And we have another formula for a different town, Q. And Q is given by 26 plus 50, so it's 26 add 50 e to the power of uh, 0 0.003 times t, so 0 0.003 multiplied by t. And we're setting p equal q, so if p equals q, let's write down what we've got. We've got 30 add 50 e to the power of 0 0.002 times t is going to be equal to 26 plus 50 e to the 0 0.003 times t, multiplied by t. Now let's subtract 26 of both sides. So here we would get 4 plus 50 e to the 0 0.002 multiplied by t is going to be equal to 50 e to the 0 0.003 multiplied by t. Let's have a look at what I want at this stage. I want um, this thing here. So I still want an e uh, to the power of something in it and I want a T as a subject of the formula. Now, I'll be honest with you, at this stage, I, I'm not sure how I'm gonna to get to that answer, but for me, it seems sensible to um, combine everything with an E to the power of T in it. That would seem a sensible idea to me. I, I don't know if we're gonna get there with this. So let's have a go. Four, let's subtract this off both sides. So four is gonna be equal to 50 E to the power of 0 0.003 T. Take away 50, e to the power of 0 0.002 t. Okay, now what I'm going to do, um, let's try and factorise this. So I can certainly factorise out a power a, a factor of 50. And why don't I also factorise out e to the power of 0 0.002 t? I could factorise that out as well. So what would I be left with here? Well, 50 divided by 50 is 1. I'd be left with e to the power of 0 0.001t. And here I'd be left with take away 1. Now, the reason why that is, think about it. If I, multi if I re multiply this by this, the base number is the same, and I'd add the power 0.002t, add 0.001t 0 add 0 is 0.003t. So that's why that would work. Now, actually, to me now, this looks like it actually is going to help us because what we could do is we could divide both sides by this thing here. So 4 divided by 50, 4 divided by the 50 is 0 0.08. So divide by 50, 4 divided by 50 is 0 0.08 is going to be equal to e to the power of 0 0.002t and then e to the 0 0.001t, take away 1, like that. And now I can actually divide both sides by this. Now the reason I'm doing that is I've seen in the in the answer there's a neg e to the power of negative 0.002t. So dividing both sides by that, I get 0.08 e to the power of negative 0.002t. Negative because it's one over is equal to e to the 0.001t. Take away one. Add one to both sides. So e to the 0.001t is going to equal 1 add 0 0.08 e to the power of negative 0.002t. Then I take logarithms of both sides, so I get 0.001t is going to be equal to the natural logarithm of 1 plus 0 0.08 e to the negative 0.002t, like that. And then this is 1 over 1,000, so if I times both sides by 1,000, 1,000 natural logarithm, 1 plus 0 0.08 e to the power of negative 0.002t is going to be equal to t. And I think that's what we've got in our formula. We have that t is equal to 1,000 logarithm 1 plus 0 0.08 e to the negative 0.002t. Okay, so we eventually got there. Now that, that actually, I, I think that is a very difficult question. You get yourself to this point, you, you should be able to do that and make them equal and do some simple subtraction. And then I just think combine exponentials, factorise and see where you get to. And it turns out that you get to the right answer. Okay, so going up here for the last part, I'm actually just going to take a quick uh, photograph of this last part just so I can uh, look at it without scrolling up. 
So the last part going down here like this. So it says use this iterative formula with t0 as 50 to find t1, t, t2 and t3 and hence the year and population of these two towns will be equal according to the model. So we're uh, using this formula here with t0 as 50 so get your calculator out, write 50 equals, that remembers it in answer mode, then type a thousand, the natural logarithm of 1 add 0 0.0 8 e to the power of negative 0 0.002 arts. Come out of that and close your brackets. Press equals and you get yourself 69.88. So if t0 is 50, t1 is equal to 69.9. Let's just do the three significant figures. Well, actually, no, let's just do more and then we'll check again. 69.886, 69.886. Press equals again, 67.251. So T2 equals 60, 67.251. And press equals again for T3. T3 is equal to 67.595.5. So that's T1, T2, T3, and hence find the year in which the populations of these towns will be equal according to the model. So just uh, keep, it doesn't ask you for this, but if you keep pressing equals here, you can see that it happens in the 67th uh, year. So you can see it happens in, when T is equal to 67. Therefore, if you add, was it 1980, so 67 adds the 67, it's going to happen in the year 2017. Therefore, in year 2000, sorry, not in 17, add 20, 2047 is going to be the answer to this.